life is challenging enough without having a mood disorder. And people who experience these things have to struggle in ways that you cannot imagine. My colleagues and I are dedicated to trying to find new treatments for people with mood disorders and to help them really manage their disorder and their challenges better. So these days, there's a, a wider group of things that we can help people with. So there's a, a wider group of medications we can give. There's even a wider group of energy-giving devices. There's repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation. There's even deep brain stimulation where a device is actually implanted in specific areas of the brain, and, and that's a, a cutting edge of research. Through doing research, I'm able to really know in depth what the evidence is for doing anything clinically. And in doing that, I can try to understand how does the research apply to this individual. The foundation is the funder of all sorts of psychiatric research and it is the source of funding for young people to do innovative, high-risk, high-gain sort of studies. Funding for research is important because we have to do better. We have to understand the brain better in order to develop new treatments. If we're going to be able to relieve people's suffering, then we have to develop new treatments. We can't stop doing that, and we can't stop innovation.